Hey, howdy doody, my friends. How are we doing today? Hey, welcome to another fun-filled day in Math Video Land. I don't know, I need to find something a little bit more catchy. Math, math mathematics. No, it's not mathematics. We'll think of something, eh? Goodbye. Let's get started. We have a lot to work to do, a lot of work to do, and I actually don't have too much time. And we are totally on the wrong page. Thank you for pointing that out. You are so helpful, you guys. All right. Now, as I'm being attacked by gnats here in this room, help. All right. Bring it down. First page. Bring it down. We're going to be exploring dividing decimals by decimals, in case you didn't know. That's right. It's what the title says right up there. Please pay attention. And it says, where is my magic pen? Come on down. See if this will work all the way around. Ooh, yeah, probably not. Yeah, probably not. So I tried. But that's what we're going to be looking at today is dividing um, decimals by decimals. Here's our objective today. Our objective pretty clear. Students will be able to divide decimals by decimals by using varied models. Today we're going to basically be using a 10 by 10 grid. But one of the key, key standards in Common Core is that you guys understand that when you do a particular math problem, that you be able to show some kind of model, whether it's a number line. Today, we're just going to be using 10 by 10 grids. We have a language objective, and that is, my answer is blank. Okay, sounds great. And my answer is reasonable because, so we're going to get a chance to look back, and then we'll see if the answer is reasonable. Okay, moving on to page two. And here we still go, and boy, this is more fun than a barrel of monkeys. Hey, the objective is still up there at the top, and our language objective is still stated clearly. What we're going to look at is this here where it says use models to find 7 and 5 tenths divided by, and I'm sorry, this little sign right here, this is a divided by sign. Yeah, it looks really kind of funky. You know, I don't know why that is like that, but it is. It didn't print quite as nice. Anyway, 7 and 5 tenths divided by 1 and 5 tenths. So it asks us to represent, which of course we know means show. Show. Yes, yeah, with the O, which should always do that no matter what. Look at even, whoa, why is that? I've never seen that before. Ooh, that was really cool. Anyway, so to show what 7.5 by shading 10 by 10 grids, and that's what we're going to do. Okay, not to mention I'm also going to be giving you Yes. Does that look familiar? So when we come down here a little bit, you can see, whoa, Mr. Wara, you really went crazy with your little 10 by 10 grids. And you know what I can say is, you know what? I absolutely did. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a pen, my little pluma. Let's go here. So what I'm going to do here is basically I've represented this as 7 and 5 tenths. Okay. I mean, if you look at this, you can see here's one hole. That being one hole, here's another hole, okay? And if I count these, you can see I have seven. I sure hope I do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then, notice I have a half of one. That's my 0.5, okay? So now I have seven and five tenths representing that. First step in solving this division problem using a model. Seems simple enough? Yeah, so simple. A caveman could do it. I was <laughs> Moving on, I think there's another commercial too. Now, use models again, same thing here. Now we have cut off the unshaded part. Now, did I do that? I did. Hey, hey, I like my scissors. My scissors went chop, chop, chop. Well, sort of. Anyway, so we're going to take that section off. So that way we only have our seven and a half because we don't need this white part. It's not part of, that's not the dividend as we learned, I believe, yesterday. So, once we've cut that off, look what I did. I chopped that off. Now, if you notice, what I have here is I actually have, I have the groups. What I did was I had my seven and a half. And then what I decided to do was I'm going, since I'm dividing it, meaning that I'm, the divisor is telling you how much you're going to have in each group, meaning by that amount. So here I have one, and then I have and a half. And there's my one and a half, one and a half. It just seems so easy. See, there's one group of one and a half, another group of one and a half. See, and this is my number, though still seven and a half is here. All I did was start chopping some of them up, okay? 
and I chopped them up ahead of time for speed. So you can see how many groups do I have. I have one, two, three, I have five groups. So when I count the number of the groups, I can say that, okay, then that must mean that seven and a half divided by one and a half is equal to five. And of course, we learned yesterday that I could always check my work. I could always say, well, I'm gonna multiply that. Oop, that didn't work out. Need to, see, you know, this particular pen is good. There we go. And, oh no, I didn't want that there. Okay, let's try again. Here we go, times five. <laughs> that didn't work. It like it knows what I'm trying to do here. So that's 25, five, look at that. With the one decimal point out of the uh, factor into the product, I get seven and a half, so I checked my work. So now I actually could use my language objection and say, you know, my answer is, in this case, five for this particular problem. Why my answer is reasonable because you know, I looked at seven and a half. I knew that my number, uh, if I had seven, and if I was kind of breaking up in groups of two or three, so this is one and a half, it gives me an idea that one, that five is reasonable. And I also checked my work. Okay, so let's move on to the next page here. Oop, it's being covered. And now we have this problem. Now this one says it find one and two tenths divided by 0.6. Okay, now it says here that I can, you can divide 1.2 into two groups of 0 0.6. So how are we going to do that? I, oh, I see what they're doing. So if we have 1.2, and here's the one hole, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So this is like one hole up here. And then this is only 0.2. Do you see how that represents my dividend, just like we did the last time? Now it says to divide it in those groups there containing 0 0.6. Well, you can see that's 0 0.6, okay? And there's another group of 0 0.6. You can count them. See, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six, 0 0.6 of that one whole. So now I have two groups. So my answer must be two. Oop, divided by 0 0.6. Boy, this is really, really looking sloppy. Mr. Wara, you need to clean this up. And it seems to be more sensitive than it used to be. Let me get a different color here just for the fun. Okay, so we do that 1.2 and then uh, divided by 0 0.6 is equal, I say 2. Okay, so now I can multiply the quotient with the divisor and I'll put the 0.6 here. And look at that, 12, one decimal, yes, 1.2, yes. And you know what, you're gonna need this. Just letting you know, ooh, so now you saw that letter, right? And then that, you will need that. I trust me, you will need those, very important. Okay, so that made sense, all right, we get another example. Now let's move on the last page here, and we go down here, oh my goodness, what is this? Oh my God, it's a hippo. Oh, it is a hippo. Okay. My goodness, what are you doing here? You have something to say? No? Do you want to be quiet? Are you supposed to make a sound or something? Talk. Talk, hippo. What are you doing here in my smart software? Oh, I know why it's not talking. I forgot. I, I, I took my volume off because I was in that training. I bet you that's why. Uh -huh. I have to change that. There we go. Up. Full screen. Come back. Talk. There you go. Boy, that's what they sound like. Well, you sound kind of like a pig or something here. We should make you disappear. All right. Well, let's just stay here for the time being. All right. So we're moving on here. And you can see here it says you can divide 12 into two groups of six. So look what we did here. 1.2 and 0 0.6. It's almost like 12 and 6. And if you did do that, 12 divided by 6, that does equal 2. The same as 1.2 divided by also equals 2. Okay? Why is that? Okay? Well, looking at this, this is 10 times larger. I'm sorry, 10. Well, 12 is 10 times larger than 1.2. Because if we multiply that by 10, we would get 12. So, you know, this is another thing that we need to understand. This is an important concept. It'll probably be one of your quiz questions. But if you look at that, and if we have this problem, 
1.2 divided by 6. I mean, I mean, do I have a pen to make it a little bit thinner? No, it's not going to matter, huh? All right, come back to give you an eraser. Eraser, thank you. Okay, let's try that one more time. Yeah, it never used to be so bad. It's like really... 1.2. Yeah, it's all sticking. All the... They're all attaching. Woo! Hey, come on! Okay, get my eraser again. Sorry, I know I'm not supposed to be having so much fun here. Okay. I'm supposed to be teaching. Uh, can we use our calligraphy? Not an option here? Okay. Fine. Fair enough. All right. Let's just see. We'll try it again. I'm going to be going really slow now. Slow motion. Okay. Was it divided? There we go. Equals. Okay. And we determined that was 2. Now, look at this. If we take 1.2... And we multiply it by 10. Oh, it's still doing it, huh? Okay. And we're going to divide that by 0 0.6. Well, I did the same thing. Actually, that's times 10. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Okay. We'll just clean that part out. All right. So now we have 0 0.6. 6 times 10. Well, look at what happens here. We learned yesterday that moves the decimal place one time, giving us 12. And look at that. Move the decimal place one because the decimal place one time because that's 10. We're multiplying by 10. Gives us 6. Therefore, the same answer. Now, even though we didn't do anything to the other side, I've been teaching you that what you do on one side, you do on the other, but there wasn't an answer over there. So by the fact that we multiplied that factor, I'm sorry, in this case, the dividend, by 10, and we also multiplied that by 10, we made that equal, and it still came out to the same amount. Now, there is just one last thing here I need to put in here real quick, because you're not going to know what this is all about. You can read that. Okay, and that should also conclude this video. Yes, because I'm at 12 minutes and 28 seconds. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Hippo. Go ahead, take a bow. Come on. Okay, well, he's kind of feeling shy. Okay, hasta luego.